This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is the HP EliteBook 2760P Windows Tablet PC. As you can see right now I'm using it in tablet mode in portrait and you can use it in any orientation that you want. And it weighs about 4 pounds so it, it's not something you're going to want to hold forever obviously in this orientation but it's possible for short periods of time. Take a look you can see it's a fairly thick more business, more super powerful oriented tablet PC. This is a convertible that it can act and look just like a notebook as well. And it has pretty much everything you're going to want in a notebook in a 4 pound, 12.1 inch display size package. Take a look at the back here. We've got the little lanyard attached that holds our pen and it has a Wacom digitizer. It works with the active digitizer pen with pressure sensitivity. You can see this incredibly sturdy hinge design right here and we've got some quick keys when you're using a tablet mode for the escape key here, control alt delete function, screen rotation and so on and a scroller as well. Back here we've got the power port, ethernet, the VGA port, there is no HDMI built in, the optional docking station does have a display port. On this side we've got the fan grill, we have an SD card slot, we have an express card 3-4 slot this is your wireless on off switch, firewire, one of the three USB ports, one of them is sleep and charge and that's this one right here. As we take a look around here is the power for the unit and this pops open the antenna for the optional wide area wireless radio. This is your slider to lock and unlock the display latch here. And on this side we have the quick launcher for the web browser. We've got a combined headset mic jack 3.5 millimeter smart card slot, two more USB 2.0 ports, a modem port, that's a little retro, and a security slot. Here's your standard six cell battery in here. This is the docking connector and this also connects to a battery slice that we'll show you in a bit and removable plates for upgrading the hard drive and the RAM. It comes with four gigs of RAM and a 320 gig 7200 RPM hard drive. There is one DIMM slot if you want to upgrade RAM. And something neat up here besides the webcam, we've got the little light here, LED light to illuminate your keyboard in the dark, taken after the idea of the ThinkPad ThinkLight. This takes a lot of design cues from that because I think they've been trying to steal customers from Lenovo's ThinkPad lines of tablet PCs. It's got the soft touch finish, it's got the ThinkLight, and if we open it up and put it in normal notebook mode, and take a look at the keyboard, you can see we've even got the eraser stick track point right here, just like a ThinkPad would have. But the keyboard is all HP. This looks like many HP keyboards that we've seen and it's got a pretty good typing feel to it. Not a lot of space in between the keys, but it's large enough for a 12.1 inch that it's comfortable. Key travel is pretty good. The touchpad is pretty small as you can see here, but this is a small computer, a 12.1 inch computer, so there's not a whole lot of room for it. And it has both the styles and a touch screen, so HP saw is probably that you're not going to be resorting to this too much. The HP EliteBook 2760P has a 12.1 inch, 1280 by 800 pixel display. This is still not an uncommon resolution for tablet PCs. Usually we see 1366 by 768 in regular notebooks, but on tablets, not too uncommon. And it's a good balance between readability and screen size. It runs Windows 7 Professional 64 bit, and it runs on second gen Intel Core i5 CPUs. We have the 2.6 GHz model. It's available with a couple of different CPU configurations depending on what you want to pay. And it starts at $1379 and goes up from there. You can get more expensive models with a 2.6 GHz, which is what we have right here, for $1649. And that also comes with the optional docking station, which includes an optical drive. And we'll take a look at that. Here's your docking station. Very nicely designed, soft touch finish as well. Super sturdy feeling. This connects to the dock connector at the bottom. Got latches. And it's really easy to put in and out of the docking station. And we've got the eject mechanism right there. A little texture on the bottom. Here's your optical drive. It's a DVD read-write drive. No Blu-ray is an option there. And on the back, you've got a wonderful selection of ports, so this really is something great to keep on the desktop, especially, this is really designed for people who are going to use this PC as their primary PC without a desktop, and working professionals, vertical market folks, more than your home graphic artist types. So here we've got three USB ports, the eSATA port, the Ethernet, VGA port again, display port right here, 
your audio ports, the power in, and the lock slot. But wait, there's more as they say. This guy sells for about $220, or you can get it bundled in with the notebook depending on the configuration you get. But there's also an optional six cell slice battery right here. Very thin, not too terribly heavy. And you can see this designed for stacking. Here's a connector right here for the docking port. And there's a pass through. So you can actually use this in conjunction with this if you want. Say you're on the road, you know you're going to need your optical drive, so you can snap them all together. And we'll do that now and see how they look. So first we're putting the battery on. It's got two little hooks that go in there, and then you snap it on. Lock it in place. And so this is what it looks like with the six cell battery, which should get you about 10 hours total runtime for the unit between the internal and this battery right here. And now we've got it snapped into the docking station with the slice battery in the middle. And, you know, super, super chunky. This is not something you want to carry around, but if you have to and you need that optical drive and everything that it offers, well, it is possible. Otherwise, on your desk, pretty awesome solution to docking. HP says that this is a, a wide viewing angle outdoor viewable display. And honestly, it's not as good as the ThinkPad tablet displays that we've seen there. Outdoor viewables, those are really eye-popping bright and really have super wide viewing angles. This one does dart, start to disappear when you get to about, oh, an angle like that. Still, we love the fact that it's a matte display, and those of you who are graphic artists or who work outdoors, and vertical market applications are going to love the fact that this guy doesn't glare very much at all since it is a matte display. There's a teeny bit of sheen and glare to it, but it's not bad. Right now we're running at maximum brightness, and it really is not the brightest we've seen, though. Let's see what it looks like displaying a web page. Very easy on the eyes, though. Very crisp and very clear. This is both a touch screen and a pen-friendly display. As we said, this is pretty easy to operate with the pen. Total ease of use, and that's pretty standard Windows 7. The finger operation is a little bit less responsive than some of the consumer tablets that we reviewed, the Slate tablet, like the Asus eSlate EP121, and even HP's own TM2, which is now discontinued, unfortunately. You can see we can get around, we can get to control panels, we can select things fairly easily, and since the user interface hasn't been enlarged or customized to use with finger touch, it's just there as a secondary possibility, but the assumption is primarily that you will be using the pen with this. Now, Graphic Artist, it does support pressure sensitivity in applications like Photoshop. And for you vertical market people, obviously it works pen-based applications, form input, digital signature capture, and all that kind of thing. In terms of performance, Intel Core i5 second gen CPUs are certainly very powerful. It uses Intel HD Graphics 3000, which is Intel's latest integrated graphics. And that's fairly capable. It can handle playing DVD movies and high quality movies, even 1080p, just fine. And clearly this is no gaming notebook, so it's not up to the task of handling intensive 3D games like Crisis 2, but that's really not what it's meant to do either. It's good enough to handle Adobe Photoshop, certainly, uh, Illustrator, and even some CAD programs. Now we're in Evernote, which is included, of course, Evernote is a free application, but it, it's a wonderful product to use with the tablet. And you can see here I've got all my notes that I've synced up, and I've started a new ink note right here, so I can just tap on my little ink tool and make notes to my heart to content using the stylus and draw diagrams too. And no pressure sensitivity inside of Evernote, but that's okay. For the kinds of things that you're going to be using with, generally speaking, that works just fine. Now what if you want to use the on-screen keyboard? Now we'll do our new regular note. And we'll bring up the on-screen keyboard, which is resizable in Windows 7. So you can use the on-screen keyboard here to, to enter stuff too as well if you don't feel like switching it back so you can use the hardware keyboard that's included. And this works pretty quickly. And you can really get going with two fingers if you want to. And again, resizes to suit your needs. 
Tablet works with OneNote as well if you have Microsoft Office Suite with that included. And HP also includes PDF Complete for those of you who need to work with PDFs on the go. HP includes their Protect tools and battery management tools and there's also a fingerprint reader on the lid of the tablet. Fan noise is generally pretty low if you're doing watching a 1080p movie, which is really above the resolution of the internal panel, obviously, but say you have an external monitor plugged in, you'll hear the fan going at a pretty reasonable clip, but in general use, it's fairly quiet and unobtrusive. So that's the HP EliteBook 2760p Windows 7 tablet. Again, this position for business users, vertical market users, not so much consumers and graphic artists, though you folks may find a use for it as well, obviously, for drawing is given the nice matte display. Elite books used to be very expensive in their tablet form, and now they're starting for just under $1,400, which isn't bad. And, and this guy with the 2.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5 plus a docking station is about $1,650. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website for the full review.